Turning now to the ongoing battle against youth violence in Metro Atlanta. Today, city leaders still trying to figure this thing out. They're going to come back together for another public safety meeting in an effort to better protect your kids and families. Council member Keisha Waits makes a point. She'd like to push for this curfew they've been talking about for a while, saying that if you can't take the guns off the streets, you could at least take children off the street. So she says the change is critical right now after another teen was gunned down in a senseless act of violence. This is 13 year old Deshaun DuBose. He is the latest to lose his life. This morning, his family is crushed as they search for answers. 11 Lives, Molly Oak joining us live with new developments in the case. Molly, what are police telling us about the status of this investigation? Well, police say they are still investigating after that 13 year old boy was killed over the weekend. The Fulton County Medical Examiner tells us that boy was 13 year old Deshaun DeBose. The medical examiner says he was shot twice. Police say it happened just before 1130 on Saturday night off Martin Luther King Drive in southwest Atlanta. That spot is near some homes and businesses, including the Cascade family skating rink. Along with Councilmember Waits, we also heard from Councilmember Andrea Boone. In a statement, she calls this a somber time for the community, saying the skating rink has been a safe haven for families for decades. She went on to call it a staple of the community and says the violence is deeply disturbing and tragic. We also talked to one of the boy's teachers. Now, they didn't want to go on camera, but say he was a kind and gentle boy who loved volunteering. Back to you all.